In 1993, Emmanuel Melez left war-torn Eritrea for a peaceful life in Canada. He was unable to find employment in the field of marine biology and research, though he had several years of work experience in this area in his home country. I woke up one morning and I realized that uh, there will not be a possibility for me to practice my profession in this country. He decided to transfer his skills to another sector and was successful in finding work. At the same time, Emmanuel became involved in community work, sharing his knowledge and experience with the Eritrean community. He's the founding member of the Eritrean Canadian Society for Youth Advancement, which has become a vital organization in the community. This is a group that has been trying to raise awareness, uh, not only uh, in terms of youth employment and so on, but about mental health issues in the Eritrean community. Uh, we have um, a, a high suicide rate uh, for our small population, um, and Emmanuel has been trying to uh, raise awareness not only among the youth group, but in the whole community at large. Through his work in suicide prevention and mental health issues, he was asked to join the board of directors of the Toronto Distress Centers. Emmanuel also sits on the board of the Ontario Council of International Cooperation. The war in Eritrea has invaded every home. For Emmanuel, too, it is a hard reality with a brother and sister on the front lines. He established the Canadians for Peace and Development in Eritrea, an organization that advocates for peace and human rights and assists victims of the war. The community has come to rely on him. Uh, a person like Emmanuel Mellis, um, is very uh, essential, valuable part to the Eritrean community. Um, we have a small community and we need somebody who is dedicated uh, to the causes of the community. I admire his ability to, to, uh, to research, to his ability um, to make contacts, his ability uh, of knowing social programs in Canada. A leader in the community, Emmanuel initiated a conflict resolution process that brought together different community organizations and the government. In my culture, when there are uh, gaps, when there are uh, needs, you simply do things. You, you don't really decide, should I get involved in, you know, somehow you get involved, somehow you do things. Emmanuel is employed as the interim program director at Lawrence Heights Community Health Center. He is the proud father of three children and a shining light in the Indian community.